Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your degrees. Psalm 118 verse 135 Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, peace be with you. Today, November 19, 2020. Today's gospel reading is from St. Luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44. Let me read the gospel. As he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, if this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it's hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you, when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, In today's Gospel, Jesus foresees Jerusalem's fall and he wept over the city. This is the same way of the Old Testament prophets. We see Moses weeping over Israel's people since they are not obeying God's commandments. The same line we can see in other prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah and Hosea. They were agonizing about the future fall of Jerusalem. The fall which Jesus foresaw happened in AD 70 when the Roman army laid siege to Jerusalem and destroyed it. The word meaning of Jerusalem is the city of peace. But the words of Jesus tell, now peace is no more found in Jerusalem because of its leaders' repeated sins. The mistakes made by the rulers in the past have been repeated during the time of Jesus. There were a lot of atrocities done by the Jewish leaders to their subjects. They were unaware of their mistake because of their hardness of heart and gradually it led to the destruction of Jerusalem. Though Jesus prophesies about Jerusalem, it also gives us a warning. Saint Gregory the Great mystically reflects this passage in this way. Christ continues to weep for sinners who, like Jerusalem, run after evil and refuse to make peace with God. Their sins hide from their eyes, the judgment is coming, otherwise they would weep for themselves. When it arrives, demons will besiege the soul and the Lord will visit them with dreadful punishment. Unless we repent over our sins and receive Jesus, we will also end up in destruction. The day unknown to us always awaits us. So. It is necessary to heed the word of God and act accordingly. As Psalmist says, Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord.